Blessings, Virgo. Welcome to your March reading with me, Nikki Lasha of Ashworth.life Sculpting. I'm a divine interpreter, psychic life coach, and mentor here to assist you with activating the divinity within so that you can elevate to your next level of greatness. All right, let's go ahead and get into your message and see what spirit has in store for you, Virgo. And if you have not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you're a return subscriber, welcome back. Thank you so much for being here. Ooh. Okay, Spirit just said, take both of these cards. Virgo, that came out for you. And that's it, is what I was told. Again, I'm being told to read from the last card to the first card. I've been getting that in the past three, three readings, so we're going to do it. So you have the desire card. And there's the number eight on there. Now, this came in in reverse, and it's the shine card. The number 32. You also have the pleasure card with the number 11. And then you have the feeling safe card with the number four. Fearless love with the number 25. And celestial alignment with the number 41. Okay, Virgo, let's see what Spirit's got for you. Okay, so what Spirit would like you to know, Virgo, is that you are being encouraged to allow your desires to come to the forefront, right? And I don't just mean those desires that are related to like paying your bills, taking care of the adulting stuff. I mean, all of your desires, even those desires that are just things that you enjoy because it brings you pleasure that aren't connected with any sort of adult responsibility, right? Spirit is saying that it is okay for you to receive pleasure. In fact, by you allowing yourself to receive pleasure, here's something that you're being called to, to remember. That elevates your frequency, right? And I'm being called to share something with you that literally just happened to me tonight, okay? So I have made the decision that there are a few designer purses that I am choosing to purchase, one of them being a YSL purse, right? And I have been looking at a few, I decided which one I was getting, but I'm like, mm, I'm not gonna get it right now. I'm gonna wait until my business grows a little more. I'm gonna wait until some more things happen in 2022, but I was enjoying literally this weekend looking at these, these bags that I was going to get, that I was choosing to get. And today, Spirit said, get it, right? Now I'm looking at these, these bags, right? These YSL bags. And if you're familiar with YSL, you know that them bags is not cheap, right? And so at first I was going to get the black one, even though I like the pink one better. And Spirit said, get the pink one. Because my thought was the black one goes with everything. Now follow me, because there's, there's a, a moral of this story. Spirit said, but you like the pink. If you get black, that's you being in lack, right? Because it goes with everything. Get the one you like. And if you decide to get a black one later to go with everything, then do that. But don't be in lack and pick the black one because the pink one don't go with everything. So. That's all she wrote, I got the pink one, right? Now, when I allow myself to invest in things that bring me pure pleasure or joy, I, you notice how I said invest, because for me, that is an investment into my abundance, right? That's an investment into my abundance. And um, yeah, I went ahead and did that. And um, I checked my email. And I had a payment in there. And then I checked my DMs and I had someone letting me know instead of making monthly payments, they're choosing to pay up front. And this wasn't even an hour after I made this investment. So this is how fast spirit works if we allow it. But here's the thing, those things that we indulge in just for pleasure that are just for us. Now this is why I sell bag ain't for nobody else right? It's for me because I like it. I don't care what nobody thinks, what they, you know, perceive based on me having this purse. It doesn't matter whether it's 
good or bad, right? It's for me, right? And so anyways, by me making that investment, look how quickly spirit brought it into me. Not to mention after I made the investment, I stated everything, every amount of money that I circulate comes back to me multiplied a thousand folds or more, right? So there you have it. Spirit was telling me to share that with you because it's time for you to feel safe, to allow yourself to have those things and for you to do so from a place of fearlessness, you know, allowing yourself to receive because you deserve it, Virgo. And then also what I'm being told to tell you is it's about you aligning. It's about you aligning with your desires. It's about you des aligning with what you're deserving of. And it's about you aligning with the divine to allow the divine to give you all that is required and desired by you, right? I'm being told to pull one more from the top, scarcity. Spirit is saying, release that scarcity mindset. Let it go. Let it go and step fully into your abundance, okay? Fully into your abundance. And as I was sharing that story with you, Spirit was telling me to also share that story for a Monday money message because it's a, a really important lesson for all of us, right? So anyways, you may hear this again on one of the Monday money messages that you watch in the future. But anyways, I thank you so much for allowing me to serve you. If you are interested in a personal reading, if you'd like to work together with me as your life coach, or if you're interested in energy healing with Jillian, our team shaman, all of the links are in the description box. So go ahead and check them, check them out. All right. And thank you again for allowing me to serve you. I leave you with peace, love, bliss, and abundance. I will talk to you soon.